Welcome to my newer new subscribers. Friendly, sarcastic thank you to the five and a half thousand people who, in viewing the previous video in a period of 24 hours, have forever ruined my wonderful analytics. And hello to Freya, if you are watching. I hope to see you again next year. I got more testing done on a truly glorious evening. The model is the same, the outboard wings are a bit different. They are a bit larger. There's no active control surfaces on them, although I have added small vertical stabilizers. As I said in the last video, too much fin, too much yaw stability is actually a problem on these designs. It makes it too stable and too difficult to turn. I have built quite a few ground effect vehicles on my channel, or things which I purport to be ground effect vehicles. And a common problem I've had is they stay in ground effect unless, and then you add, unless you use too much power or you don't actively fly them to stay in ground effect. Whereas this model I maintain is an actual ground effect vehicle. Now, yes, it's a hybrid hovercraft as well, but it cannot escape the ground effect. The absolute most you can do is build up speed and hop it. But again, the instant it's away from that ground plane, it just loses lift, increased drag, falls back onto the hovercraft air cushion. The first addition of the outboard wings was on an older design back in February this year. I will put the video up. And back then it was only picking up small amount of ground effect lift. It was there, but not that significant. It was my next again testing sessions on the new model where I added the outboard wings again. And this is where I began to see the real potential in it. I did try active surfaces, as in elevons, but I may try those again, but I actually think the, the plain wings are actually just fine. If you ask me for my quick definition of a ground effect vehicle, one of my criteria is it is stabilised through ground effect. If you showed me a ground effect vehicle that had roll control surfaces, I would question what they were for. You could argue a pitch control surface like an elevator on this ram wing. It makes the vehicle more usable over a wider range of speed, but it's not really a primary flight control and you can actually do without it. I'd maintain a true ground effect vehicle only really has a, a throttle and a directional control, doesn't need pitch or roll controls because that stability comes from interaction with ground effect. This design with the air partly blowing down through the lift motor but also picking up ram effect is, it's a hybrid. I mean even without the outboard wings it still picks up ram pressure, although as I've said it's actually detrimental which is why the front it appears to be ramped the wrong way, it's actually the right way. But in adding those outboard wings you gain so much pitch stability. Keeping the comments quite brief, um, I do have more videos in production, but for now I'll just leave up the video because it was such a good night. <laughs>